I wanted to make a quick video on all the resources that come with um, understanding anatomy and physiology. This is one of our favorite books. This is what we used for our science when we were in 11th grade. It comes with an access code. I obviously I covered it up. So we bought ours off of Amazon. You can actually buy it from um, F.A. Davis website. But we bought it from Amazon. It was cheaper. And it's a very nice book. The layout is it's very visual. There is a lot of online functions too very colorful there is again a visual auditory and interactive approach there is a lot of resources on the website which I'm going to show you simply log in I noticed that if you use Google Chrome sometimes you cannot access the ebook and then you simply go over now if you were going to enter your access code you would obviously just enter it here then once you do that, um, sometimes you might have issues. A lot of people have issues um, redeeming their access code. Now, if that happens, you can use the chat with us here in the corner. I noticed they actually were pretty quick to respond. Sometimes the wait time is like 15 minutes. I easily got in. I noticed that when I was at first, they didn't have the ebook. So you have to make an account with something that is called. I believe it's called bookshelf and you can access the whole once you log in you make an account bookshelf you can access the whole entire book that you bought by using your access code you can have an online version of the whole book but that's something that I was like that's very nice especially if you can't carry the book around or if you just prefer to have um, like pages you print out, I mean, it's really nice, especially because there is a lot of end of the chapter tests, which I'll show you here in a minute, which if you wanted to print those out and put it in your 180 day binder, um, once you fill it out, let me show you. Each chapter they have it set up like this. There's many different ways you can arrange it. You can highlight things, you can, copy and paste it's very nice it's very note friendly you can change the font you can change the background if you want this to be in, in night mode it's a lot of good features then you have your test your knowledge and um, this is again the test they have at at the end of each chapter We usually we did a chapter a week so it's it's not that much work you just read a lot then there's about 10 questions sometimes there's more like sometimes some chapters have like 15 questions. So if that's something I noticed only recently. You have an ebook if you make an account with um, Bookshelf. And once you do that, again, you have to already have your book. You already have to have your access code once you're on here. Um, and then we also have the resources, which is the main reason I um, made sure that I redeemed the access code because I wanted to have the resources for the students. So, as you can see, there is a drop down. We'll just go down this list quickly. Interactive um, exercises, these are mostly tests. I um, actually printed some out and I'm going to show you those. And then there is an answer key on the website. So, if you want to just do the test on the website, you can do it like that. But since we wanted to, and again, we want to make sure everything can go into our 180 day binders. I'll show you some of the things we printed out. So these are some of the printouts from the website, which these are free. So if you didn't want to purchase the workbook that comes along with it, you can just use some of the tests from online, from your free resources online, and you can just print these out and then fill these in. If you didn't want to purchase the workbook, you can just have these worksheets. It's very detailed, especially if you really want to go into nursing or something along the lines of that or if you're just really interested in this topic a lot of these free tests that you can just print out um, I noticed that again it was hard to print these out on Google Chrome but maybe that was just my computer so I went to Microsoft Edge I'm sure on Firefox you could probably do it too and they have for every single chapter that just shows you chapter one but again they have all the way until chapter 25 then there is flashcards so if you wanted to let's just say the heart if you wanted to memorize something whole list right here those are, we just really enjoyed this it really helped us that's why we are showing this we're making a whole video on it because you can if you didn't want to purchase the workbook um, you can have a lot of these free online resources that comes with it obviously the textbook you purchased 
Then there is more of these tests that I just showed you. Then there is animations, which I feel like is very interesting. I'll try to play one quickly for you. And it goes on for about like maybe each video is set anywhere from being 30 seconds to two minutes long. And it really just helps you again. There's probably like five per animations per chapter. Some chapters don't have it as I see it skips from seven to nine here. But again, very helpful. I'd use this as much as I could. Whatever gets in your head. There is also a podcast library. And the podcast library they have many different options here, like this is what they call the study group, which is you just hear a bunch of different people's voices talking about that chapter and asking each other questions about it. And then the study group questions is the questions that they ask in that audio clip. And then the chapter in brief is just somebody reading pretty much like the notes, a synopsis about the whole chapter. Reference resources, there is an audio glossary for terminology if you want to know how to say something. There's PowerPoint presentations, there's actually a whole, and there's actually songs about the heart and how it functions. So there's many different ways that you can retain this information and make sure it stays in your head. Here's an example of the PowerPoint. This is chapter five. Just really nice resources, especially for um, teachers but also for students that are trying to even teach themselves or again, especially older kids like 11th grade high school, like if you're trying to teach yourself some things, they have their more independent work they do. This is very nice, very nice website. I was very impressed with this. Uh, I saw some YouTubers, uh, homeschool YouTubers out there that recommended this book. It was very helpful, it really worked for us. So that's pretty much all the online resources. Now I'm gonna go back and show you again a little bit more about the book which at the end, here I mark some chapters, so at the end there's probably like 10 to 15 pages you read, which is not that much reading, because it's mostly pictures and then explaining it, and then you do a test at the end, 10 questions, and then also the answer key to those tests are in the back here, if I, these are all the answers to it there. It's very nice how it's laid out. It's about like 500 pages, but to finish that in about 21 to 25 weeks, because it's um, not, not going to be too long of a course. And then this is the workbook that accompanies it. I believe the textbook was um, 55 the workbook at the time was 35 I, Again, the prices for everything have gone up. This, we did along with it, so along with the test, we read the chapter, and before we take the test, we have these worksheets we do. So. Some chapters are longer, I'm going to say about 20, 20, 25 pages where you color things in and you write uh, like a lot of these crosswords and things like this. There is no answer key for these, but all the answers you need are in your textbook. So we felt like it was worth it to have the workbook. It helped us get it in our heads. That's I really am a fan of these books because even if you didn't want to purchase the workbook and you just wanted to purchase a textbook, you have enough information on your own. And you can, if you don't even want to bring the book with you, if you can't for whatever reason, if you're traveling or whatever your reasons are, you can go online, you can use um, your computer, you can use your phone. I noticed it doesn't really, some of the tests don't work on your phone, but I, I believe they do work on tablets. Uh, if you wanted to print out worksheets like this, uh, here's a chapter later on. You can, and you don't have to ever get the workbook, so you can save yourself some money there if you want to do that. We decided to just to go all in because this was a topic we were very interested in. Thank you for watching, but this was just one of the things that I noticed only recently. They added um, some more features to this book, and I just wanted to recommend this because it is worth the money. I Thank you for watching. Um, more videos will be out soon.